Welcome to our world-class global hub airport, Toronto Pearson, or as our friends from Mississauga sometimes like to call it, the Mississauga International Airport. I'm Hilary Marshall. I'm the Vice President of Stakeholder Relations and Communications here at the GTAA, and I'll be your captain for today's event. It's an honor to welcome our guests from the city of Mississauga, Mayor Bonnie Crombie, Janice Baker, the Chief Administrative Officer for the city, and the GTAA's President and CEO, Howard Eng. I'd also like to recognize one of our Board of Directors, Stephen Griggs, who is a representative for Peel. Stephen has joined us today. Hi, Stephen. And I'd like to welcome the members of the City of Mississauga's Economic Development Advisory Committee to today's announcement. Welcome, everyone. We're here today to talk about creating economic opportunities for Mississauga, a city where anything is possible. And without further ado, allow me to introduce a woman who's rolled up her sleeves and is hard at work creating opportunities for the people of Mississauga, Mayor Crombie. Well, good morning, everyone. First, a special thank you to Howard Eng, our CEO, for hosting us today, and Hilary Marshall and your entire team from the GTAA for hosting today's launch of the Mississauga International Partnership Program, or MIP. As mayor, I've repeatedly asked how the city of Mississauga can help generate new economic development opportunities. Local government doesn't have the same powers as senior levels of government do. We can't offer tax cuts or tax credits, or sign treaties. Like entrepreneurs, local government must think outside the box. We need to brainstorm our own innovative solutions to build a 21st century economy for our city's promising future. So how do we achieve this? My answer has been clear. We leverage existing assets, strengthen professional networks, invest in our human capital, build knowledge infrastructure, and bring people together. The new Mississauga International Partnership Program Committee will leverage Mississauga's international expertise, cultural diversity, and networks to help our economy reach its full potential. I campaigned on a platform to form an International Investment Advisory Committee, and I'm proud today to deliver on that promise as I hit my first 100th day milestone in office. Growing Mississauga's connections to markets will lead to local business opportunities in this increasingly interconnected world. The committee will identify strategies and set goals to elevate Mississauga's globally renowned reputation as a leading destination for entrepreneurs and established businesses to invest, develop, and test new marketable concepts to expand service offerings, create local jobs, and achieve unrivaled success. Strengthening connections with global communities will better prepare us to welcome international delegations of incoming trade missions to Mississauga. I've already met with the Indo-Canadian Chamber of Commerce, the Mississauga Chinese Business Association, and just last week had a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Canada's new Chinese Council General. If we are competing on a global stage against other jurisdictions, we must be proactive to attract the businesses and the industries and the investment we want. As the honorary chair of MIP, I will proactively engage international delegations to see them for themselves all that Mississauga has to offer. We are here at the arrival gates of Pearson International Airport, Mississauga's International Airport, excuse me, Canada's largest airport. Each day a wealth of human capital and economic opportunity and, and investment potential flows from the doors directly behind me and right into our community. It is absolutely critical that we seize upon every investment opportunity and position ourselves to compete effectively in the global marketplace and create new employment opportunities for our residents. Mississauga is home to 63 Fortune 500 companies, almost 60,000 businesses and 1,400 multinational firms. Our economy is strong. Our GDP now exceeds $40 billion annually. And we're a net importer of jobs. Yes, more people come to work in Mississauga daily than leave. Entrepreneurs and established businesses choose Mississauga to reach higher. 
and Pearson is our gateway to the world. So why do job creators come to us to do business? Mississauga has a competitive advantage that would help any private sector business remain ahead of their competition. We are Canada's sixth largest city with a population of 750,000 people. And we are strategically located in the Golden Horseshoe area, west of Toronto, 90 minutes from the US border, and linked entirely by six 400 series highways, six major highways, and three rail lines. Mississauga is home to a highly educated workforce that speaks over 200 languages. We are a dynamic, diverse, and vibrant city, and 56% of our residents, our population, were born somewhere else. They were born abroad. Our diversity, our talent, and the connections and the skill sets residents possess, and our economic strength moving forward. We have the potential to reach markets uh, that other cities could only dream about. Outside of English, our top five spoken languages are Chinese, when you combine Cantonese and Mandarin, Urdu, Punjabi, Polish, and Arabic. In a survey, 78% of CEOs worldwide said that finding talent is their number one challenge. Here's what I say to those CEOs. Let Mississauga help you overcome these challenges. Job creators choose Mississauga because of our highly educated workforce. Over 26,000 of our residents have earned trade certificates and diplomas. 22% of our workforce has been educated in engineering and in architecture-related skills. Over 66% of Mississauga's workforce has a post-secondary education. Residents have an average of eight to 10 years of professional experience. And there are 38,000 international students within 60 minutes. We are home to modern knowledge infrastructure, such as Sheridan College's business school, um, and the University of Toronto at Mississauga campus, UTM, with its newly opened innovation complex. The city of Mississauga has invested $10 million to make that innovation complex a reality. UTM and Sheridan are the nucleus for ideas, innovation, and excellence. Each year, these leading post-secondary institutions graduate the next generation of talent and add to our already exceptional local workforce. Our commitment to finding savings, showing discipline with taxpayers' money, and strategically investing to help our city grow has also ensured that Mississauga maintains our AAA credit rating. This means that Mississauga enjoys a strong financial reputation. It gives businesses and entrepreneurs from across Canada and around the world the confidence that Mississauga is a safe and reliable partner for doing business. We have accomplished a lot in our 41 years, and through MIP, we will further leverage our diversity and our global connections to access new markets and to grow Mississauga's international reach. So once again, I'm pleased today to formally announce the launch of the Mississauga International Partnership Program Committee I'll say it again, Mississauga's International Partnership Program Committee, and I look forward to working alongside the members from MIP to write the next chapter of our city's promising future. Thank you. Thanks very much, Mayor Crombie. You're truly a champion in terms of opening up Mississauga to a world of opportunities, and here at Pearson, we're really happy to support you in that effort. Let me introduce our own world traveler, our president and CEO, Howard Eng. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Mayor Crombie, Janice Baker, Baker uh, my board member, uh, Stephen Griggs in the back. I, I think there's a competition for naming a Pearson Airport. <laughs> I was speaking to the uh, chair of the Pan Am game the other day, he would like to call this the Pan Am Airport. <laughs> uh, we're excited and welcome the establishment of the Mississauga International Partnership Program. As an incredibly diverse community with Toronto Pearson as the global gateway at Mississauga's doorstep, it's very fitting that we are celebrating the introduction of this partnership today in a location 
where millions of international visitors are welcome to Canada. Toronto Pearson, Canada's largest global gateway hub, is situated in the heart of Canada's economic hub. We, we all know firsthand that business today is global. Competition is global. And Toronto Pearson is home to more than 65 air carriers serving all corners of the world. As Mississauga looks to diversify its business internationally, we are committed to supporting this growth and working to continuously improve the connections, especially to emerging destinations like Asia, South America, and Africa, which are places I know the city will continue to drive investment and jobs for our community. Pearson plays an important part in connecting Canada to these regions of the, of the world. As found by the recently released Global Hub Economic Impact Study we commissioned, Pearson supports $40.3 billion in foreign direct investment today, and it will grow to $71 billion by 2030. This directly aligned with the committee's call, goal to attract more foreign direct, direct investment to the city of Mississauga. We, all, we also recognize the strong value in investing in ground, transportation, and transit, and the regional benefit that this brings to business and to the community. The Mississauga, the Mississauga Move Transit Plan that our mayor has led would be a, a terrific addition to our city, including the eastward spur to, of the LRT directly, may I say directly to Pearson Airport. Uh, that's just a little plug, Mayor Crump. As a global hub, Toronto Pearson provides the connectivity to assist our government, uh, com the government committees, uh, uh, sorry, direct the government and business community in developing trade and investment and attracting tourists. We look forward to continue to work together to drive even more jobs and trade to our community in the years ahead. Thank you very much. And to speak a little more to us today about what this important venture means for Mississauga, I'd like to invite Mississauga's CAO, Janice Baker, to come up and join us. Well, thank you very much, Hillary. And uh, like my fellow panelists, I'm delighted to be here to help launch this great initiative because we believe it's a great opportunity for Mississauga to grow our economy, and we all understand how important that is. Mississauga is already one of Canada's global investment destinations and we have worked hard to create a thriving economy, an openness to cultural diversity, an awareness of accessibility, a vibrant job market, a commitment to safe and active neighbourhoods, a strong focus on economic development and an impressive approach to community development. As we look to the future, we want to continue to foster economic growth, development and business expansion to ensure that our economy remains prosperous and sustainable. Our 10-year economic development strategy is designed to ensure Mississauga becomes a global hub of creat creativity and innovation where talent and business can thrive. The strategy is focused on attracting foreign direct investment to strengthen our economy improve our competitiveness, and leverage our international labour market. These actions will help us attract and develop talent and businesses that will contribute to Mississauga's diverse business community and growing global profile. As we look ahead, our three goals are to become a global business magnet, to embrace a culture of innovation, and build a knowledge economy. We recognize that direct investment from other countries is critical to ensure our future success. A key piece of our strategy aims to establish connections with local cultural business organizations in an effort to create cre connections with international markets. We also understand that cultural diversity is important in a globalized economy. We have identified opportunities for Mississauga to leverage existing relationships that can attract new investment and trade partnerships for the community and the city. 
The Mississauga International Partnership Program will be essential to creating those business connections with our largest cultural communities. We want to work with these groups to determine and set our target markets and generate support for the promotion of Mississauga as a business investment location. In particular, we're looking for advice on identifying emerging economic conditions, trends, and new markets that will assist the city in responding to the demands of our globally competitive, knowledge-based economy. We want to ensure that we look at partnerships that are beneficial to Mississauga's future, initiatives that retain, expand, and attract international investment. I know that our Honorary Chair, Mayor Crombie, is excited to lead this new committee to discover these new growth and economic development opportunities for our city. Mississauga has a very strong vision for the future, and we certainly know that partnerships is a big component of achieving that vision. So we look forward to those partnerships that will expand economic activity throughout Mississauga and help us become that global hub of creative and innovative activity where talent and business can thrive. Thank you very much. Well, folks, these are exciting times for the city of Mississauga and Toronto Pearson. We're thrilled to be able to work together with the city to continue growing the region and this airport as a global hub. So following a short photo opportunity, we're going to um, be available for any questions you might have. But right now, we're going to stop and take some pictures.